Howdy, 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 my beautiful Gemini. How are you doing today, darling? Let's get into your weekly tarot reading, Gemini, straight for October, darling. See what's going to be happening in your life. See what's going to be manifesting, what you have planning, all right? So when you're consuming tarot readings on YouTube, Gemini, or wherever, darling, all right, uh, be sure you check out more than just your one zodiac sign, all right, because you want to cater to your chart. Check out your sun, moon, and your rising, uh, if you know it as well, and you'll get a better understanding of what's going on in your life, all right? So when it comes to my tarot readings, Gemini, all right, this is a collaborative thing darling you rely on your intuition as well to see how the details really resonate for you as well but let me know in the comments below how the storyline fits for you all right that's how i keep up with you guys give this video a like and subscribe gemini if you enjoy this tarot reading today because it does help me out quite a bit and i always appreciate it when y'all take the extra step to support me in that way other than that though gemini let's begin your tarot reading here with the back of the deck energy seemingly being the five of swords here seemingly darling it's right in front of our face here all right <laughs> so Gemini, I see you're coming into this reading stressing about something, right? Five of Swords is dealing with like your your psyche, right? There's, you know, you see the crow there. Crows in this deck, by the way, represent swords, if you're curious. So it's like you have this crow here whispering in your ear. And so there's like something on your mind here where you're just like sitting, stressing about it, wondering how it's going to pan out. Like, you know, even this person in the back here, it could be like the sense of representation, like someone planted like a seed in your head, like a seed of doubt or something you know could be responsible of somebody right trying to figure them out or what have you all right so gemini let's see where we can unpack this energy here i also want to take note we have the king of wands pop up in the back of the deck there as well uh that might be relevant later on <clears throat> so we have the page of pentacles coming in with the knight of pentacles and i wanted to pair it with one more thing here three of swords okay gemini all right see that's what's really happened here you are you're in this place of feeling really anxious because you don't want things to fail here i see you guys have been really whatever it is that you've been working on gemini like you have been on this journey for quite some time you've been wanting to catch a break you've been wanting to get out of like some type of stalemate perhaps or you're just wanting to see progression because when you think about the knight of pentacles in specific this knight of pentacles like they're continue going down their path it's the slowest moving knight but it always gets to its destination uh gemini but during the journey there you'll look and it's like as this knight of pentacle walks there's a lot of other pentacles that they have to let go of to continue on their journey here and so for you gemini it feels as if your path is like really leaning you towards i had a card just fly out oh yeah this is the three of swords it feels as if spirits really trying to lean you towards like disconnecting from situations that are uh causing you pain causing you to stress out about like eggshells gemini i feel like you especially when it comes to people it's the sense of like stressing out with trying to like communicate with certain people without feeling like you're like uh inconveniencing them or walking on eggshells all right but taking out the social aspect because not everybody likes to talk about people right or like we're actually engaging with people here uh especially because of the pentacle energy i could lean into this with finances or just your earthly desires right because pentacles is earth energy you could be having some anxiety about like your finances being like all right am i going to make it to my destination am i how am i going to pay my bills in october or what have you here now gemini i'm going to tell you why i'm not stressing out whatsoever for you Oop, i need to move this bone here this candle's getting a little bit crazy gemini all right we'll just have it there anyways the how i see this gemini is that the reason why i'm not stressed out for you is because this page of pentacles pages represents new energy coming in and with it being the pentacle it's like a new stream of revenue coming in a new energy something coming in that is new for you that you can start investing your time and your energy towards all right so I do see for you in the coming days, like revenue starting to pick up for you. All right. It's because you have been on this path for a while now uh, where it's like you might have been stressing out about your job or like, again, maybe it's been finances have been slow for you for a little bit here. All right. I get like this sense of like a recovery period. All right. That's what I get for you, Gemini. It's like the sense of like a recovery period coming in uh, for you. So let's start clarifying this even more. Let's start getting the details about this here. I do also want to say, Gemini, I think it's really important for you right now because I'm being shown you just like shutting your door 
in writing like i feel like it's really important for you to just make time for some type of personal project all right maybe you've been really putting off like writing that book maybe you've been putting off like starting jump starting that new side hustle that side career or just your main career uh gemini because you're afraid of disappointment and you're afraid of falling flat on your face perhaps you know page of pentacles energy there it's just like i'm not going to sugarcoat this gemini you might have to release some things to make it work all right, but this page of pentacles energy you're releasing pentacles with that knight of pentacles but you're bringing in something solid there which is what i would think most of you would want gemini right it's like you're having to let go of some stuff that has you feeling anxious then bringing disappointments there is some slight adjustments right so if you you know let's go into finances for example especially finances i don't i get like this sneaking suspicion gemini you know i could be wrong all right i could be wrong but i don't feel like you like your job I don't know if you like or something's happening in your job that's stressing you out here. All right. And I'm going to be honest. I feel like spirit's really trying to push you or lean you towards being like, all right, if you don't like this current situation here, I ain't telling you to quit, Gemini. So let's get that first and foremost clear, especially in this economy, honey. Uh uh. We ain't quitting nothing without a backup plan. OK, that's something my mother always told me, darling. It's just like you do not quit a job, honey, unless you have a backup plan, because you don't know when that next job's going to come. All right. So I get this sense of there's something going on in like the the workplace or just your financial situation the answer to your problem isn't like b uh, banging your head against that same brick wall trying to get like a better pay increase in that current job setting all right sometimes you have in order to get paid more you have to switch jobs all right you know something that has stuck with me uh, Gemini, uh, when I used to, before I was self-employed, um, I used to just stay at like uh, jobs for like years on end because then I would get like a raise, like a 25 cent raise. But there's something, there's a saying that says like, if you're actively trying to increase your revenue, like uh, you always need to be after your two year mark at a job, you need to be like finding the next job and hustling for a higher pay. If you stay at your job, the same job after two years, normally, unless your job is spoiling you, which we all know, darling, like there's so many greedy corporations now that it's time to be switching up after two years because you're just losing money at that point because you can hustle for a much higher paid gig if you chose to transition all right so that's just something i felt called to say darling i could just be speaking to the choir honey gemini you might already know that but you know in case you didn't so let's continue expounding on this here we have the three of wands coming in there's some more swords energy darling all right knight of swords and then that king of cups let's talk about this wheel of fortune first and foremost though all right this wheel of fortune all right i always say the wheel of fortune well yes you see the wheel of fortune you're just like oh darling fabulous and it means fortune right not necessarily all the time right the wheel of fortune you know it can be turning one way or it can be turning the other so i do see for you probably you've been going through a little bit of a slow spell the wheel of fortune's kind of been turning against you some resistances perhaps here right but the wheel of fortune how things are going to be progressing for you is like a change of luck or a change of how things have been panning out for you recently gemini but the only way for the wheel of fortune to start changing directions of where it's turning is through taking action all right the wheel of fortune doesn't just organically just like change up directions you know there's something that influences the wheel of fortune to turn one way or the other does that make sense so i'm not sitting here i'm not going to be that tarot reader gemini that's just like oh honey like i see abundance i see you hitting the lottery three times in october all right <laughs> you know that's just i mean it'd be fabulous honey if you do hit me up honey okay but like that's just not reality you know i always say life isn't the sims gemini so if you're wanting to have like the wheel of fortune to switch up for you here it's really important for you to start taking action here all right to be very blunt here the three of wands is a card of like you're seeing the signs you know you kind of have an idea of where spirit's trying to direct you but then you're just like um are you sure are you sure spirit are you sure ancestors are you sure universe like uh, maybe i should just wait it out a little bit longer wait until the seas have calmed down a little bit before i go forward darling the seas are never gonna calm down darling all right the only time that the seas are going to calm down is when you're on the other side and they're no longer relevant for you i think it's time for you to just start taking action because i th see you by you taking action gemini that's how you get stuff really get the, getting the ball rolling here all right you have the knight of swords which by definition is the card of where it's like a lot of events happening at a pretty quick pace gemini all right and it's kind of funny that we get the knight of swords after like uh as you clarify here for your progression of your storyline because it's the very opposite of the knight of pentacles right the knight of pentacles is the slowest moving knight and the knight of swords is the fastest moving knight so it's like 
I do see progression happening. It's like a va it's like a very opposite energy once you start taking action on things, Gemini. So if you are ha if you have been in this place of just feeling really frustrated, feeling as if Gemini that it doesn't matter what it is that you do or you try, like you always feel like you are ending up failing or something, darling. You know, King of Cups energy is the sense of where, like I do see for you, it's the sense of sure you might be afraid of like falling flat on your face and you might you know for some of you gemini's you might have been consistently falling flat on your face for a while now and maybe some people have pushed you to fall on your face darling gemini all right but the thing about it is i still want you to keep standing up and continue going forward because this five of swords energy here i feel like is what's really controlling you here in this sense of i'm not trying to gaslight you gemini i'm not just saying it's just like your life isn't as bad as it seems or what have you things are not as bad as it seems it's like girl please i'm a man reading tarot cards to you on a screen what do i know about your life in specific right i get that but i do see in this sense with this five of swords you have to be careful about it and this is me speaking from personal experience gemini all right i ain't i ain't trying to act as if i'm holier than thou the five of swords energy when it really takes hold of you you start losing faith and and hope of life itself you don't really like you don't really believe that there's a light at the end of the tunnel all right and so that's why I feel like you're at Gemini. It's this sense of where you've been beaten down multiple times. When you've searched, when you've asked other people for help, you really ended up regretting it afterwards because you're just like, you know what? This person's just stressing me out even more. This person's just adding more uh, problems in my life that I don't need. And so I do feel like for you, Gemini, it's this time. It's the time for you to take hold of like your mental health or take hold of where your mindset is currently at and try to i mean i'm gonna this is my channel honey it's just like i think it's time for you to like make something your bitch <laughs> mentally here truly here because i do see for you where it's like something has psyched you out from wanting to take action like something has instilled doubt in you maybe you fell flat on your face and ever since then like you can't like you get like ptsd like vietnam flashbacks honey anytime you consider going forward taking action towards like that own you know your side hustle or whatever the case is here all right but and I just see for you, though, Gemini, it's just like once you get yourself out of this rut and continue going forward. All right. I do see things starting to open up for you here. All right. So let's expound a little bit more on this Knight of Swords. Like what events are going to be happening for you? I got Knight of Cups here. This is the third night here, Gemini. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to say this now. When you have court cards showing up, especially knights, uh, that could represent people coming into your life or that represents people, not people people come into your life just people in general gemini so because we have three different nights here it does lead me to believe here gemini that your path is going to be meeting with some new people here but it also you know cups can represent opportunities as well like an opportunity coming forward towards you but let's continue on here king of pentacles coming in here with the three of cups all right so i can see this in a couple different ways here gemini all right so firstly in a social way it feels as if some strong earth sign, all right, King of Pentacles. Usually I don't like to speci specify uh, zodiac signs or elements in a general tarot reading because it's like, girl, there's so many people that watch the readings. But like, because it's a King of Pentacles that came in right afterwards, I get a strong earth sign energy. So what are the earth signs? It's Virgo, Capricorn, and Taurus, all right? So it does feel like some heavy, like someone that has heavy earth sign energy seems to be playing an important role in your life. I don't get romance here, all right? So I was, I'm sorry to tell you, Gemini, for those that really want to get like romance out of this i'm not gonna like make a romantic reading when i don't see romance right you got the platonic uh card rather than the romance card with the three of cups here the three of cups it's a card of like uh friendships and coming to you know uh coming together and just celebrating and uplifting one another all right by definition the three of cups is a card of victory celebration what have you so it does feel as if some type of earth sign comes in to uh, either help you out or just come in as a sense of companionship here. It feels as if they're like a very stabilizing force for you in October. All right. I get that. I'm being shown a rock. So they could be like a rock for you in October. 
All right. But also taking out the social aspect again, going back into opportunities, the Knight of Cups brings forth an opportunity of the King of Pentacles, something really solid, a solid foundation for you to build off of, which is really fabulous when you think about it, Gemini, because you have that page of pentacles, right? So it's something that develops here. So if you continue adding up these cards here, because this is like a giant puzzle, darling, right? Tarot is, you know, by taking action with that three of wands and just honoring your commitments and letting go of what you need to let go of to bring forth something positive, right? That's how you got that wheel of fortune to be changing and what have you here. You know, this is like a direct storyline here, Gemini, of where it's like, I see you finally like by you choosing to finally like let go of those things that make you feel like you're walking on eggshells or just hasn't been paying you the uh, the right amount because you've been staying at that same job and they give you like a nickel of a raise for all the work that you do for like three people's jobs right um by you choosing to like change jobs here or changing things up here you're bring you're coming forth with this knight of cups where it's like a job offer coming in here or you putting out your resume and receiving some type of positive offer here king of pentacles it's like whatever offer comes in here it helps you build like a strong foundation in your home life here three of cups coming in here that's the card of just victory success like you you risked it you risked it girl i can't say risked <laughs> you risked it for the biscuit honey and you got the biscuit and then the honey butter as well all right so it's like this is really a time for you uh gemini to like look at where you know acknowledge the signs that spirit's been leaving for you and just start, start taking action on it all right instead of having the questions of being like oh like will it work out will i fall flat on my face gemini don't even like don't look that far ahead you're spooking yourself out with the details darling all right what do you need to do right now to have that wheel of fortune to switch up in your life to have that wheel of fortune start uh blessing you rather than inconveniencing you all right so something i want to tell you gemini i've told some people this in the past is that the hardest thing sometimes on the spiritual path is learning when to see certain obstacles and see where spirit's trying to direct you sometimes people mistake um, an obstacle in their life and seems like seeing that as being like oh spirit's just challenging me i gotta see through this challenge work through it uh, until i get on the other side that's spirit's way sometimes it's just a uh, the spirit lays that obstacle right in front of you because it's just like all right gemini no more don't sink any any more energy into this change up past to get to your destination now all right so get better at me telling you get better at that uh, identifying but you know, just check yourself, uh, Gemini, you know, don't be too stubborn on having to see something through until the end. By you having to let go of something, that doesn't mean you're quitting. It just means you're improvising. All right. So let's get into your Oracle cards today, Gemini. All right. You have the last quarter moon in Scorpio. Reveal what needs to be seen for you. All right, reveal what needs to be seen, what needs to be seen for you. Can we get some detail? Eight of Pentacles, all right? This is the card of going back to school. This is a card of promotions, you know, going up in the ranks here. All right, reveal what needs to be seen. All right, this is a very much so spirit saying, it's just like, darling, we need to figure out like your game plan here of where we're, how we're going to take things to the next level. Your spiritual team, Gemini, is sitting here. It's just like, we want to manifest. We want to do things for you, darling, but we got to have a plan here. We got to have a sense of direction of what you want us to do, where you want us to go, all right? And you also need to take action with them, right? You have to follow them. You have the Watchers card, number six in numerology. So looked up the number six. Gemini to look up at a later point in time to see what number, uh, what message the number six has for you. Watchers, transpersonal coming in here. What was I just talking about, uh, Gemini? You have a lot of spiritual forces sitting there watching you, wanting to help out, but it's like they don't know how to help you out in this current state. All right. So the best course of action, rather than like reclusing away and just you know playing small, this is the time for you to be taking big action so spirit can start helping you out. Don't be, don't base your future future off of what your current reality is you know i'm going to say it one more time don't base your current don't base your future off of what you your current reality is so what i mean by that is just like you know things could be feeling hopeless for you right now but that doesn't mean the rest of your future is always going to be hopeless things can always change the future is never solid right and so how you get things to change up is like you you need to get the ball going and spirit's going to help it along but you have to continue being the one to push the ball to have that momentum forward momentum going first all right does that make sense gemini i hope this 
gives you some sense of direction here but let's leave you with your mantra card for the week here gemini i hope this is really helpful for you though darling all right and let me know what this is about you know what what action have you been wanting what signs have you been seeing that spirit wants you to take action on our ooh, girl <laughs> gemini i am a he i am a spirit having a human experience and i'm here to get closer to love all right so i'm going to say this one more time i am a spirit having a human experience gemini and i'm here to get closer to love what does this mean in this sense here it's like i feel like for you your path right now is just challenging you gemini to challenge you on your faith and challenging you to get into alignment with your spiritual team here all right you know people have like your spirit guides and what have you and sometimes people have like you know, you will believe in the power of like your spiritual team protecting you or your ancestors manifesting things for you, right? Like if I asked you, you'd be like, yeah, I believe in that stuff. But it's just like, if you truly believe in it, Gemini, why aren't you taking more risk? If you truly believe that your spiritual team has your back, why are you so afraid of going forward and with your passions or with what have you? All right. Something to think about, darling. All right. Because I had to psych I had to say, have that conversation with myself a few years ago when I uh, decided to change my life here. And I feel like it's important for you guys as well to evaluate. Do your actions represent your beliefs? All right. Do your actions right now represent your beliefs? Ooh, darling, I just gave myself goosebumps. Ooh, girl. Look, come, thank you for coming to my TED Talk, honey. <laughs> Anyways, Gemini, I love you so much, darling. I Thank you so much for watching this tarot reading today. Uh, if this did resonate, you already know what to do, darling. And I hope I can connect to you sometime in the near future, darling. All right? Bye, Gemini.